Hello students. So today I am here with a recent update in the treatment of chronic spontaneous urticaria. For those of you who don't know what urticaria is, I have already made a video on urticaria where I have discussed the different types of urticaria, various treatments which are used for urticaria and I will give the link to that video which you can find in the top right upper corner. So the name of the drug is Lichlizumab which is still under phase 2b trial. Now as you can see the name itself is suggestive MAP which stands for monoclonal antibody. Okay so this is what this is humanized monoclonal antibody and it binds to IgE. Now all of you might be knowing about one more drug and that is omalizumab which is used in urticaria. So omalizumab is also used in the treatment of urticaria and the mechanism of action of omalizumab is that it also acts against IgE that is immunoglobulin E. So this is anti-IgE. So what is the need for another drug in urticaria? So remember that this legilizumab is considered to be more effective than omalizumab and it requires less frequent injections in comparison to omalizumab. So this is a recent advancement in the treatment of chronic spontaneous urticaria. But remember that this is yet to be approved. This is still under phase 2b trial. Now the another drug which I am going to discuss here is lanadelumab which is used in the prevention of attacks of hereditary angioedema this is already approved by fda and this is again a fully human monoclonal antibody that inhibits active plasma calicarin and thereby decreasing bradykinin so the important points to remember here are legilizumab is used in chronic spontaneous urticaria this is already under trial the drug which is approved for use in urticaria presently is omalizumab while lenadelumab is fda approved drug for prevention of attacks of hereditary angioedema thank you very much